I am JD Wolf, and welcome back to my XCOM Long War campaign. Okay, we have seven credits here. We can go and sell some of the damage stuff that we just got. What I've discovered that even if you have uh, credits in the bank, Exalt, if you have zero credits, Exalt can still steal the money and put you negative. I have seven mil. I kind of don't want to sell it. I could sell Allurium. Kind of don't want to. 104 is where we're at. The two things that I would like is another scope. But I also need a fission generator, and the fission generator costs 120 credits. Um, when I get a satellite uplink over here and I take South America, that will reduce. But before I can do that, I need to buy a couple of fission generators. 120 credits is a lot for just a little bit of power. That is a lot of cash. So let's go forward uh, to that point, at least until the excavation is complete. Everybody back on active duty. Okay, there's the excavation. So to get a fission generator, generator started, I need 120 credits. Let's sell the Allurium to get us up to 120. I need one more credit. Well, I'll make it Allurium. All right, 124. Fission generator. That's going to take 10 days. kind of need to excavate over there, but I do have room over here for something like alien containment or uh, better yet, a foundry. Five power. Five power, 200 credits for the foundry. Ten power, 200 credits for alien containment. Alien containment is going to have to wait a little while longer. Um... Let's excavate over there, just because it takes a while. And I think, what, it's 10 credits? Uh, 10 credits. All right. Let's see if we can do something to get some money here. That is a large UFO. Um, let's just scramble an interceptor just to see what it looks like. And we're going to pull out immediately. We'll just pull out immediately just see what it looks like. Enemy is padlocked. Let's get away from it. Nearing strike range. No joy here. Is that an abductor? Or is that a harvester? Let's see. Abduction. Commander, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. So this is going to be a short mission. 133 credits. That's enough for another fission generator. Or something. And it's light. So we want to go with um, minimal, we want to go with a lot of rookies. So let's clear it out, we're going to build it from scratch here. And let's see what kind of rookies we have. Yeah, yeah. Even though they're minus three, I want a better aim. Right there. Now, I'm thinking of going all rookies, get them trained up. And we're going to need somebody to go with them. Because this is light, so it's going to be, it might be floaters. We need to be careful. Gosh, I don't know if I want to go with, let's go with four and we'll have two babysitters. 65, that's pretty bad. We're going to give them some scopes to bump it up. A 
lot of defense right there. All right, so here, thinking of going with uh, some one of the other guys. Um, I was seeing. I wanted them to have. All right, <laughs> this is gonna screw it up. Let's come back over here. We're gonna get a promotion. Okay, who can we give the promotion to? The medic. Our scout ghost. Let's go ahead and promote the scout. I'm going to send the scout in with them with reduced fatigue. Scouts are purple. I'm finding I really like the, the hair being uh, dyed the same color as the uniform. It was just, oh, sorry. I just did it on a, on a lark kind of thing, but it's really helping spot the guys down below here. Here's one thing Long War does, it equips, it uh, assigns you, like, everyone. Okay, we're going to have the Scout as our main. And... Our Engineer needs some bump up here as well. Engineer Sapper, yeah. Let's do um, half HE and half AP. Okay, well, I'll do the equipping in a second. That is not the color that that's supposed to be. I'm going to, um, yeah, let me equip them with it paused so you guys don't have to watch that. But I'm going to pick the best aiming. Yeah, I did defensive a minute ago. 65, 64, there we go. All right, and anyway, yes. All right, let me pause it here, and I'm gonna go ahead and equip them. Okay, um, we're back, guys. This is an urban block, several buildings, a large combat zone. So I've uh, stuck with what you just saw me pick, which is the engineer, the scout, and three rookies. Now, um, the difference, uh, I'm, I'm outfitting them a little bit differently than I uh, than I have been. And we're going to try this. And because this is such a light mission, you have the assault rifle, the sawed-off shotgun. Um, oh, there we go. You can see his his equipment there. Um, sawed-off shotgun and two types of grenades. HE to as a last ditch to kill him. Uh, I mean, uh, AP is a last ditch to kill him, or an HE to clear out their cover so the rookies can get them. Uh, the scout, um, I didn't want a, basically I took the tack vest instead of the tack armor for the mobility. I took the SMG because the SMG gives you plus three mobility. I'm trying to get my scout more mobile. We're going to see if this works. She's going to be able to go in and finish things off or take out an, an entrenched guy with her, um, sawed off shotgun, but... Um, this gives her plus three, but in order to do that, I have her in attack vest instead of the armor. I did go with the ceramic plating down here, and I did give her the med kit in case anybody goes down. Hopefully she'll be able to uh, come and save the day. So it's in an effort to increase her mobility. So instead of 13 minus two, she's 13 plus three. Because of the SMG giving another three, the vest giving, uh, you know, zero adjustment. Uh, etc. So there's that. Then every rookie uh, has some low will. I gave them all alien trophies so they don't panic in case things go bad. And I gave them all a laser sight to boost them up to at least 70. And I gave this one the scope to get her above 70. So everybody's aim, you see the aim here is 78. And the aim here is 71. So everybody is above, at or above 70 for the aim. And I want to do one more thing. Okay, I got his hair color and all their languages straightened out. 
and Ghost is commanding. You see, I gave her the lead. She's the only one with the uh, with the rank, so she's lieutenant. And we're gonna give this a try. Here we go. All right, let's see what we get. Touching down. Operation the Stone drop future. This operation will be in Canada. Panic is spreading throughout a major city as the aliens move through the streets. We have to get a handle on this situation. It said several buildings. I'm worried about this not being the one with actually several buildings. Uh, let's see what we do get. Stone future. Don't clip your wing on the fence. There you go. Oh. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right, I know what this map is. Normally, I like to put snipers up here. Um, the problem with these trucks is that they don't give as much fuel to fire as you think they do. I'm going to spread out my experienced guys a little bit. But let's put ghost right up <gasps> not there yeah that's not what I meant to do but it definitely showed us what was clear and what was not position confirmed I'm rolling okay and then these guys let's move them down Right there. Right there. Okay. You have to remember these guys, uh, these aliens have itchy trigger tentacles. And I want to get. So we have to move from cover to cover and be careful. And I'm kind of not too happy with her current position. I'm actually going to move her right there. Alright. We want on Overwatch. Well, both of them. Take a drink. Okay, I'm not sure which direction they're at, but I saw the direction for the mailed canister. There's the mailed canister. If I come up here and activate them, I could still pull everyone, I could put everyone on overwatch for an overwatch trap. Um, if she moves there, if anything's over there, she's going to see it. Let's do it anyway. Nice. Nine meld. So you see, whoops, um, the meld canisters, that's probably the first meld canister I've actually captured. The canisters don't give you a lot. Um, I mean, they do give they give you a random amount. She is at a good position to see that way, but not over there. Heading there now. Okay. I don't want them to keep up with her. If at all possible, let's go right here. In there. Okay. Overwatch. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got aliens basically straight ahead. Um. <laughs> So I'm going to move these guys up slowly. We're going to take an ex take some extra time. They are... Hmm. What do you guys? Put her right there. That's a dash. Okay. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Dash that one there. Okay, let's back up over here. This one... 
That's the same parallel right there. Let's move up to there. Okay. And let's spread these guys out. We're gonna move up. Heading to that location. Towards this side. We'll put the scout right there. A little dangerous. She's gonna be able to see something that we saw earlier, but it's new, new to us now. Okay. Fire hydrant provides no cover. All right, let's move up here. Make sure we don't see anything. That should be okay. Oof. Okay. Orders confirmed. Moving out. In which case, we'll move her right there. So we move our left side, we leave our right side where they are. We'll move the right side next turn. R on the left. Yeah, more mail over in that direction. Let's move our scout Heading into to cover. Location. Visual on the goods. Visual on some more goods, but we haven't encountered anything. Now we saw that medium was 11 aliens, heavy was 14, so light should be around 8 aliens. And this right here is our rookie. That's affirmative. Got some good mobility right there. Position confirmé. Matt does not. Okay, we'll move our left side this time. See, the 18 wheeler there, it's got alien materials in it. So, the aliens have come for that. <laughs> um, If I run here and they have itchy trigger tentacles, they could shoot. The other option is to go ahead and dash right there. You won't be able to shoot back, but you will be in full cover. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Moving to position. All right, same on that side. All right. All right, looking good. See, that's a little bit more forward. Just put her right on that side of that truck. Okay. Scout here. And I shouldn't be doing this in the same turn. I should wait another turn to do this. That was quite a lot of movement. I'm about to move her up there. And so, yeah, I'm going to wait till next turn to move them, them to up. Okay. Uh, the sound made it sound like we lost a milled canister. Move him up right here. He sees, yeah, there's a melt canister right there that we missed. There's another one over there. That's affirmative. Put her in half cover right up there. Okay, we've moved our right side for now. And I'm happy we, we just basically doubled our, our mail by capturing the one canister. We're good with that. So I'm good with taking as much time as needed. Two thin men. 
two Thin Men. All right. Now, the problem with this is that she can come over here and flank, but if she does, she might reveal more guys over there. She will probably reveal more guys over there. And that would not be a flank on that enemy anyway. But I could have her move up into full cover right there. She should have been tossing battle scanners. Darn. I really should have done that. Why have I not been doing that? Okay. Um, nobody's on Overwatch. 44, 29. She's got some good movement. Let's have our rookie move up right here. Okay. 69. No good. She can't see from there. They can't reach cover where they're at. Without extra move. Okay. This is not good. We don't want thin men messing up our party here. I'm going to move her there, even if that means activating something else. 72, that's all she can do. She's got the SMG. Only one point of damage. This isn't good. Looking quite bad, actually. Move Matt up. AT grenade like that. Okay, killed one, damaged and the other. That's good, but that other is a commander. He's going to have some good aim. They can't see him. Yes, Commander. Move him up right there. He could see him, but then he'd be exposed. It's only a 25% chance to hit. Which is bad. So I'm going to put them on either side of this car right here. And I'm tempted to move her up like right there, but still, again, I'm worried about activating guys over here. And it could very well be Thin Men. I'm going to leave her right there. Overwatch. Brace yourselves. Let's see what happens. Oh, he comes up. Oh, crap. It's not a flank, and he does spit acid. Let's see if she can get up there. She can't. He's blocking you, dude. He is blocking the access, at least from that direction. Okay, we can get him with the grenades. So let's see if... Um... Now, with acid, if you're in acid, it seems like if you move, you take damage. If you do anything. Because I'm always trying to do something. And if it's not applying a med kit, let's see if he... If he decides not to move at all, out. if that will um, do anything for us. 54. I'm all out. Aim. I don't want to move her up and reveal anything. Alright, move her back. Shoot. Oh, that did it. Did not need to use a grenade on that one. And I'm going to reward her. 
and do nothing over here. Let's see what happens. Don't move. Okay, it's acid. If you move, ho ho ho! And that is how you take no damage from the acid. He is still suffering negative effects from it. Let's not, nobody do anything crazy. Let's just reload. Choose. Get her over there. No reload needed there. Reload, it. reload her. Oh, yeah. Reload her SMG. And still says acid. Neutralized after a few turns can be removed by a med kit. I don't want anybody to move. Cool. Don't move. Just freeze. Ah, uh, we got two thin men. That is two thin men. A very juicy explosion is what we want to have happen right here. Not on Overwatch immediately. HE grenade. Right there. Boom. And the reason HE is because of the gas tank. Because he took cover behind it, we managed to kill the commander. He had more hit points. He was a commander. 48. That's a toy coin toss. All right. Coin toss. If I could speak, that would be good. All right. And I'm just not moving him. He's still affected by the acid. I don't even want to put him on overwatch. I don't want to do anything with him. I'm going to have her step right there pitch a battle scanner right there big brother is online hmm nothing although you know taking this area could be a good plan uh, but for right now, we're just going to overwatch and do nothing right there. Two little sectoids that don't see us. The acid effect is gone. Yay. And that is how you get spit at by these new guys and don't take any damage. All right. Now then. <laughs> uh... How do we want to take on these guys? They are right there. We'll go in and around the back. There might only be there might be one more pod over here of two. Let's see. Vision. They are right on the edge of the vision. If I move her up there. She'll see him, or they'll see her, or both. If I move like that, they'll see the approach. Solid copy. Let's move Ghost right there. If we could come in from this side. So we have some over there and some over here. That would be good. Let's do that. Moving. Okay. And one, two, three, and then... <laughs> yeah, 
him over there. Actually, he's in the best position to contribute a third gun. Not straight. Let's do one of those. And that. Put these two on Overwatch just in case these guys move forward. That could get you seen. Watch. Enemy oh, they see him. That is the SMG. We have three aliens in that pod. Okay, so that's three. So we've activated a total of seven so far. And with the numbers we're looking at, actually I could have her move up closer. She could actually move up right there. And if she could see over the side and down, yeah, but that would, because of the aiming angles, that would be kind of a side Thing. Let's just have her reduce the range. Oh, she's flanked a couple. What is her best chance? Either one. That one has more hit points, but she has a 100% chance to do in critical. So let's attack the leader. Oh, well, at least he's down to one hit point. And it looks like an overwatch shot just drains the ammo on the SMG. So how far is a blue move? Blue move? Should go right there, keep an eye on him. That is, that is a dash. Okay, I was, it doesn't say dashing, but it is dashing. I'm anticipating getting her in really close. She can't run and gun. Um... Take it back. Let's uh, have her move up there and reload. Okay, same over here. Getting into position. 61, just to finish it off. Okay, with the red fog, hopefully it wouldn't have been able to hit, but that was the only one he could see anyway, so we might as well take a shot. Not a lot of movement yes, on her. I'll just leave her right where she is for now. Have him move up right there, see if he can see him, and he can't. We'll overwatch. Okay, with one hit point, oh, okay. Nice shot, and that's why I try to get everybody's aim at least 70. There we go. Okay, he's on overwatch, nobody move. Just take your pot shots. Ok, 
Okay, let's have her move in. Can't see or be seen. Which means I could put her right there. He would have no idea she's right there. For next turn, if there is a next turn. Oh, I don't want him to see him. Okay, from that angle. Let's see. Okay, whoops. <laughs> Hit the wrong key there. Okay. Okay, I'm hitting the wrong keys. All right, sorry. Um, I'm pretty sure he can move right there and not be seen. Oh, he saw something. But it wasn't enough movement across the guy's field of fire. Activate his overwatch. That's a good one. So now he has a very poor chance to hit. Overwatch there. Oh. 40, yeah, he's got a full clip. Oh, that did it. All mission objectives completed. All right, light was seven this time. Uh, okay. I think it's basically the number of pods, and so we had a two and a two and a three. Um, so maybe it's a three pod, four pod, five pod type thing uh, for the different levels. But that went very well, better than I expected it to go. <laughs> I was afraid, you know, with so many rookies, and then I'm only taking a scout and I've made the scout very light and more mobile and I've taken the engineer with some grenades is that going to be enough and it was I'm continually impressed by the efforts of our troops commander recovering this meld substance is crucial to our scientific pursuits well scout or sniper let's see the mobility is 11 hmm but the aim is only 68 Starting off with such a low mobility for a scout, it seems like I'd prefer to go with a sniper. So, yeah, let's do a sniper. We'll do a scout on the next one. We have one. I don't think we have enough rocketeers. Oh, gunner. Let's make another rocketeer. These are all pretty much the same. I'm going to make him a gunner because we just did a rocketeer. And we have a lot of infantry. Um, not a big fan of assault, but I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, her aim's pretty low. No, well, getting in right up in their face with a running gun could compensate for that. So we got nine milled on that one. Three sectoid, two thin men, five weapon fragments. Yeah, we blew up a couple of thin men, so we didn't get the corpses or the weapon fragments for them. But we got 133 credits to do something with, so Remember, we'll do that next time. We will be watching. So that was kind of a short one. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please like, subscribe, tell your friends, and until next time, stay safe.